Hi guys, this is Avril Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve slash increase your FPS and performance in the Tom Clancy The Division game. Uh, I decided to do the video in a, a Word document because it will be easier for you to understand all the parameters and uh, the description of uh, all each of one. Um, one important thing to know is that I, I'm using an i7 uh, for, uh, 4790K from Intel for my CPU. And my GPU is a R9 AMD uh, 280X. So I don't have like a wow, big, CP, G, crazy GPU. Uh, so I will explain you all the parameter. And sometimes, depending on your preference, you can sh uh, choose low or medium if you kind of like the effect. So uh, it's all, <laughs> it's, it's on your side. So let's start with the V-Sync. V-Sync should be at off and you should use the frame limit to limit your uh, FPS at 60 if you want to do it with your uh, 60 Hz screen. And you can go over uh, 144 FPS if you want to uh, limit it for your uh, BenQ crazy gaming monitor. So uh, that's about it for that one. I'm not a big fan of shadow, so for me shadow I went to medium. And if you put medium to quality, resolution, count and resolution, you will save approximately 5 to 10 FPS, so that's a lot. So you should definitely check on that. And I went to I to medium, and you probably you can go to low if you want, and you will save more FPS. Uh, after that, contact shadow, same thing. I went all low. I went. I had like a crazy boost with that, like four FPS straight up, just to use all low. After that, uh, post FX AA, those like post uh, effect that uh, the the inject in your game. Uh, I'm not a big fan of AA, so uh, you can use of because right now the graphics are really good in the game, so I didn't see a big difference, and you can save 2 or 3 FPS just to close the, that one. After that, temporal AA, I went to super sampling, had like a big boost, good chunk over there, again, 2 or 3 FPS was pretty good. Sharpen image, I can say like you should use 30%, whatever, you can go up or down depending on your GPU and uh, computer. Uh, particle depth, I didn't see like a big uh, difference uh, over there, so uh, I just stay at 2i because I saved maybe like 0.5 or 1 FPS if I went to medium, so I, I just went into it to I, I stay at i. Uh, enable wind effect uh, affected snow, uh, just stay with yes, doesn't affect your FPS, it should, but I don't know, I did some different tests and it doesn't. Uh, volumetric fog. That one is kind of big. I had major FPS gain to go to I to medium. Again, like seven FPS, so it was pretty good. So you should definitely look at that one. Same thing with reflection quality. Uh, you know when you you run in the, the city and you have water and you have like some kind of reflection of everything you uh, the the basement like uh, the NPCs and all those stuff. Uh, so you can gain like a really good FPS over there. I went to low because I almost got 10 FPS so uh, to, to go high to low. So it was pretty good, big chunk over there. Uh, same thing, local refraction quality, same thing, went to low because it's, it's too crazy. You gain a lot of FPS just to change that one. So uh, you definitely should look at those one. If you don't like the graphic at low, maybe you should use medium. But anyway, just tested it. Subsurface scattering, just stay yes, doesn't affect FPS that much. After that, inosotropic filter, I went to 16x. That one, you can gain 3 to 4 FPS if you lower it. So uh, if you have, you don't have a good computer, you can test that, that one. is You kind of get, maybe, yeah, depending, on, it, it will really depend on your, comp, uh, your GPU, the brand of your GPU and your driver, depending on the generation. Because some people can just like gain 1 to 2, but if you have a really old card, you can maybe gain 3 to 4, so look at it. Parallax mapping, just stay at I. Ambient occlusion, you can get a lot of um, uh, FPS boost on that one. So uh, if you have some trouble and you don't get your 60 FPS, go to low, you will have a big chunk. Uh, depth of field, for sure, in any game, depth of field is something that you should look at it. I went to of because it's like a, how can I say? It's it's really like, depending of the, the game, that one is like, a, you see the city and you see that you can see like very far in the game. So that one can like very, uh, how can I say that, like just 
crash your <laughs> your GPU. I went to off and I had like a really major gain, seven to nine FPS, depending of uh, where I'm, am I in the game. Object detail, I went to seventy, no, sixty-five percent to fifty. I gained five FPS on that one, so you should definitely look at it. So just scroll up, scroll down, depending uh, what you want, more FPS, less graphic, or whatever. Uh, extra streaming distance, 90% uh, on that one, major FPS gain again, so again, just like whatever, test it, it and uh, make sure that you have like, you balance your game between graphic and uh, uh, FPS. Chromatic aberration, I, I went to, yes, it's just a small setting that uh, affect your, uh, like uh, the small rainbow effects in your camera lens. Uh, doesn't affect much FPS. I saw maybe a drop of one sometime, but it de really depends. And finally, lens flare, yes. So that's about it. Uh, you should definitely test it because sometimes you change something and you really don't like like the the new effect in the game because I don't know it's too jiggy or whatever. So um, yeah, that's about it. Just comment in my uh, YouTube section video. If you have any question uh, about those parameter and maybe question about your system, so I will uh, respond uh, very quickly. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.